What's going on everyone? This is going to be a little bit of a different video for me um, because I am not a hunter. I am not an outdoorsy guy. Um, I've been camping a lot, that kind of stuff, but I, I, you know, I, I'm just not the the culinary expert. <laughs> and <laughs> Those of you that might follow me on Instagram or Facebook have seen uh, Diet by Dirk. Uh, yeah, I admit it. I basically eat like an unchaperoned teenager. Um, a lot of pizza, M&Ms, you know, kind of junk food stuff. So the culinary type of knives appeal to me in the sense that I enjoy them. Uh, like most all cutlery, but not super practical for my kitchen needs. So today we've got the Meat Crafter 15500 from Benchmade, part of their Hunt series. And talk about this box for just a second. I mean, and this is kind of a a rant, a, a little gripe about Benchmade in general is their boxes are usually huge for the knife. Now I get it, we're gonna use this box for probably multiple different knives, right? But this is how it's shipped. It just, it, I don't know. I, e even with their folding knives, they're too big and they bounce around. And if you shake them this way, they bounce up against the top of the box. And I don't get it. Put in a little piece of, you know, styrofoam here so it doesn't bounce back and forth in the box. I, I, I don't know. That's, there you go. Little gripe about the box, right? So, moving on <laughs> to the knife here. This is the, the Meat Crafter. And these retail for about $160. This was loaned in by Gil over at Wild About Sporting Goods. And they are listed at 136 on his site. You get 10% off. Not a bad deal. Okay. So here's what you got. Orange handle. Black sheath on this half. Orange sheath on that half. Kind of cool, but I would prefer, I think, either a all black sheath or an all orange sheath for me personally. Plus, I don't get the belt loops. These are like an inch. Uh, I guess that might, I haven't tried, but I don't even know if I could get my dress belt through that. And I certainly wouldn't strap this onto my waist in my dress belt. So I don't, I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, but yes, you could lash this to a backpack, you can just store it in the back of your truck or in your camping gear, whatnot. So there are many ways to store it and use paracord, rope, tape, whatever you, whatever you do. Like, again, I'm not the outdoorsy hunter guy. That is a Bolteron sheath, um, which is similar to Kydex. I've talked about this before on another video that I did, also from Benchmade. It has some better properties than Kydex when it gets freezing cold. It doesn't get brittle and things like that. So, um, yeah, they do put a little hole down here in the bottom. So if there is any um, water and whatnot, it will just drain out, which is very cool. So here is the knife. It is uh, CPM 154 blade steel. Let's just zoom in here and we'll take a quick look. They did a nice bead blast finish on the blade. Typical logo, nice orange grippy handle, which we'll talk about in just a second. And then just the uh, blade steel on the back. This is your boning type fillet knife. It is very thin at 0 0.09 blade thickness at the thickest. And it has a lot of flex to it. So um, when you are boning, filleting, doing whatever you do with a knife like this. You have a lot of wiggle room 
to make your cut. <laughs> um, overall is 10 and 7 eighths inches. 6.08 blade with a slightly shorter cutting edge, just a hair under six inches. The handle is 0.623 overall at its thickest. Weighs in at uh, 3.1 ounces for just the knife or together as a package is 4.9 ounces, okay? Benchmade uses their 28 degree select edge edge grind there so it is super super sharp right out of the box uh, it has a the handle material is something I had to look up because I just didn't know what it was uh, it is a Santo Preen handle uh, they did put in a lanyard uh, hole here which is really just the back of the uh, tang so this is a full tang knife wrapped in Santo Preen now, Santoprene is similar to vulcanized rubber, but uh, has some different qualities for coloring. It is food grade. Uh, there's a whole list of things that didn't make a lot of sense to me as to why uh, Santoprene is uh, better than vulcanized rubber and i'll put a link to that website down below in case you're interested i was very interested when i when i was reading up on this knife and saw santa preen handle i'm like what the hell is that so i went and did a little research and uh yeah basically a vulcanized rubber totally recyclable recyclable throughout the entire process gives you the ability to do a lot of different colors used a lot for uh injection molding and things like that so it is rubbery so it has a very grippy surface now back to that lanyard hole how it hits in my hand depending on how i am holding this knife it's a little uncomfortable i do feel that kind of in the heel of my hand okay one interesting thing about the handle is here you have some protruding uh, nubs for grip here in the index finger it's more like jimping in the handle the belly of the handle it's protruding and then in the pinky it's more like jimping because it's introvert inverted it's also inverted like typical jimping up here on the top it's very interesting to me how they used um, protruding and jimping I don't know uh, inverted um, lines for the grip. It's, it is super grippy. I think if you were using this with blood and water and whatnot, you're going to not slip. This, this just gives you a lot of grip for the cutting tasks at hand. Okay. Uh, there's not a lot of size comparisons here, but I did want to bring out my Mattia Baroni chef knife because it is the other fancy kitchen utensil that I have. Just as a kind of a comparison, they're two different knives for two different things, of course, but I thought I would just throw that out there. This is your uh, eight inch chef knife and your six inch filet boning knife. But I will do just a couple of quick size comparisons just to give you an idea. Here it is with the Sharpie. The Spyderco Delica and the Hellraiser, just because why not? Again, totally different. Just want to give you guys a sense of how big or small this uh, meat crafter really is. Kind of a cool knife. I personally don't think I have any use for it, so I'm not going to rush out and buy one personally, but. It would be a great knife in the kitchen if I had any culinary skills to speak of. It would probably be useful. So there you have it. A quick look at the Benchmade Meat Crafter Model 15500. Thanks, Gil, for sending it in. I love seeing things that are not my normal wheelhouse. So appreciate that. 
Thanks a lot, everyone. I appreciate your time as well. Go check out Gil if you want anything in the Benchmade world. He has a lot of other stuff as well. So go check him out. I uh, love his support. And so the more we can support him as a community, the uh, better, because I greatly appreciate all of his support throughout my uh, short, so far, YouTube career. Thanks, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.